Good evening from the Channel's newsroom here in London. Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev has resigned to give President Vladimir Putin room to carry out the changes he wants to make to the Constitution. The unexpected announcement, which came shortly after Putin proposed a nationwide vote on sweeping changes that would shift power from the presidency to parliament. Medvedev made the announcement on state TV sitting next to Putin, who thanked Medvedev for his work. It means Russia will also get a new prime minister. Possible candidates include Sergei Sobyanin, the mayor of Moscow, Maxim Oreshkin, the economy minister, or Alexander Novak, the energy minister. It is obvious that we, as the government of the Russian Federation, should provide the president of our country with the opportunity to make all the necessary decisions for this. In these conditions, I believe it would be right that in accordance with Article 117 of the Constitution of the Russian Federation, the current government of the Russian Federation resigns. Iran's President Hassan Rouhani has said the country's military should elaborate more on how it shot down a passenger plane by mistake last week. Separately, Foreign Minister Mohammad Javad Zarif acknowledged that Iranians were lied to for days afterwards. He insisted that he and the president were also kept in the dark. Iran's Revolutionary Guards killed 176 people when they unintentionally shot down the Ukrainian aircraft amid escalating tensions with the US. Speaking on stage, the foreign minister said he wasn't told about the accidental missile launch until two days after the event. Uh, but people are angry even with those two days. That is the expectation that people have with their government, that the government should not, uh, uh, should have disclosed the information. Of course. I, as foreign minister and the president, we didn't know until Friday afternoon. The Amazon boss, Jeff Bezos, has announced a major investment in India, saying the country is a key growth market. Mr. Bezos said his firm will invest $1 billion in digitizing small and medium businesses, allowing them to sell and operate online. Speaking at a company event in New Delhi, he also said the 21st century is going to be the Indian century. The e-commerce billionaire's three-day visit to India is expected to be marred by protests. Thousands of small traders across 300 cities have planned demonstrations against what they see as Amazon's negative impact on the local retail market. We are going to use, again, try to use Amazon's size, scope and scale. We're going to use our global footprint to export outside of India, to export 10 billion US dollars of make in India goods. A passenger plane has dumped fuel over several schools, injuring dozens of people as it made an emergency landing at Los Angeles International Airport. At least 60 people, many of them children, were treated for skin irritation and breathing problems. Fuel may be dumped in emergency landings, but only over designated areas and at high altitude. The Delta Airlines flight returned to the airport due to an engine issue. Delta confirmed in a statement that the passenger plane had released fuel to reduce its landing weight. All the injuries are said to be minor. A large metal plate launched by an explosion at a chemical plant in Spain's autonomous Catalonia region killed a man three kilometres away. The man, named only as Sergio, was in his apartment when the one-ton object struck, causing part of the building to collapse. A senior member of staff at the factory was also killed in the explosion, which seriously injured two other people. Tuesday's blast occurred at around 6.40 p.m. local time. Authorities said it was probably caused by a chemical accident, but that no toxic substances had been released. Italian police have arrested 94 people in pre-dawn raids on Wednesday as part of an investigation into an alleged mafia scam that defrauded European Union agriculture funds of millions of euros. Prosecutors said they believe the fraud was orchestrated by two mafia clans in eastern Sicily who obtained at least 5.5 million euros in EU farm subsidies for land they did not own between 2010 and 2017. Amongst those arrested were the heads of the two families, a number of public officials who help farmers apply for EU aid, a local mayor and an accountant. Some 150 companies were also seized as part of the investigation. And finally, Thai rescuers have brought an Austrian base jumper down from a cliff after he was left dangling for hours. It's after his parachute became entangled to jagged rocks in the southern province of Fat Halung. 
The jumper, Johannes Klauser, went up the mountain sometime on Monday morning, but ended up hanging about 175 metres above the ground for five to six hours before he was rescued. And that's your international news around the world in five.